So before I get started with the video, interesting story. This is where I found my rubber boa after I let the cage door open and it escaped. I freaked out that night because I thought I had lost it and it hid somewhere. I checked the room for it and I couldn't find it. But I think it climbed into that fan and hung out there because uh, its tank was right next to the uh, the fan. So um, yeah, it. Uh, I went to bend over to pick something up by the fan and I, I just looked up and saw it and I kind of like freaked out for a second because it scared me because something was moving. And I said, oh wow, it's my rubber bow. And it was uh, actually very joyful and it was a uh, big sigh of relief, so. but. That's just a funny little story, so I'm with the video. What's going on everybody? I'd wave hi, but uh, I do have a snake wrapped around, got me locked up, it's a rubber boa, uh, if you didn't know by the title. Um, yeah, rubber boas are awesome. This is my little girl. She's a couple years old. Um, they make great pets. Actually, they might be my favorite pet snake. Um, they're super docile, they're super fun, they're unique. Um, they have that nice little tail, looks like a head. You can see that. Uh, maybe. Yeah, looks like a head. I guess that's a that's a, a good deterrent. You know, if uh, something's trying to attack it, it just shows its tail. But um, but yeah, they have to coil around and lock up. That's one of her signature moves. Um, rubber bows are great. I'll give you a step-by-step -step care guide. It's easy. Um, first and foremost, temperature. Um, these guys are found in snow all over the United States. So like, um, they're gonna they're gonna handle some some cold temperatures. During the winter months, I keep mine like in the 50s, um, just so they have their dormancy period where um, they don't do anything. Um, and then once you know spring rolls around towards summer, I, I, I kick the heat up. I give it a nice hot spot. Um, again, you'll hear different different reports. I'm going by what successful keepers and the keeper I got her off of told me what to do. I keep a hot spot. I don't think you need one according to all the other guides and stuff like that. You don't need a hot spot, but I think they're good because it's there if it needs it. If it doesn't want it, it doesn't have to have it. Um, just a simple hide. I have a simple hide. It's just this cork bark right here. Um, simple. Um, super easy. Nice water bowl. I keep a water bowl with a rock in it so she doesn't tip it over because this is kind of a flimsy. I should get probably a more durable bowl, but I mean it is what it is. I have it and there's a rock in it so she can't knock it over. And very important, probably the most important thing, you can't use like natural six soil. I use the chips. I mean you could use like a newspaper if you want or you know some type of liner, but I use the Repti chips because these can get very bad infections in their nose and in their um, their mouth from the substrate, like anything dusty or like particle or stuff like that. Um, yeah, don't don't use that. Uh, I've heard some stories where they, um, you know, they get infections and you don't want to pay a vet bill. Um, and yeah, that's that's bad. So it's boring to use rapid chips. You know, I would love to make a nice naturalistic environment, but you know, it's not in the cards for these guys. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna try to find something. There's maybe some type of a substrate I could use that doesn't do it, but until I like, I'm for certain and like 100% on it, I'm uh, I'm not gonna mess around with it. So there's there's no reason to. Um, yeah, and I'll, and I'll show you the tank I use. It's a small tank. I'm pretty sure I'm an upgrader because she's uh, she may outgrow it soon. These grow kind of slow. This one, I want to say, I got it in 2018. 2019. Uh, she's a good eater. Um, rubber bows are pretty good eaters. I did have to cut the pinkies up, not cut them up, but like slice them so there's some blood so she could taste the blood to eat. But um, yeah, other than that, like they're pretty good eaters. They, she eats frozen. I never had to feed her anything live. I take that back. I did have to feed her live once because um, I didn't have any frozen. So the only thing available was live. But they're super docile. They make great pets. Um, they're they're cool. Again, in the winter, you know, I, I do put them aside for, you know, the cooler, the, the cool down. And so if you don't have that, you know, these might not be for you. I think it's essential for them to have that cool down, at least, at least cool. Like I, like I said, I keep mine like the fifties, but they, uh, they need that. And then when it warms up, I just, again, put it, put it with, I plugged the heat, the heat pad back in and put it in a little warmer area. So um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty cool. They're, they're hard to find. 
Um, and like I said in the beginning of the video, when I lost her, I was like super bummed because, uh, you know, I had it for a while. It's a great snake, and it sucks losing a snake. But I mean, unfortunately, sometimes you forget. That's the first mishap I've ever had with a snake like that, where it, um, where it escaped. Where I forgot to put the lid on. <sighs> it sucked because I was, uh, I guess I was just taking out an uneaten pinky that I didn't eat. I just, I don't know why I forgot to close it. I'll never do it again, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, it's like, and these, these go for a pretty penny now. I didn't pay a lot for this one. Um, they go for like six, seven hundred dollars now. It's kind of crazy um, what these go for. They're very rare in the hobby. And I think it's because they're hard to breed because you got to put them in a cooler temperature and you got to walk that line where it's not going to kill them because it's too cold, but they need to, they need to be kept chilled and, you know, they're just, they're just tough to find in a hobby. Um, I don't know. Like, I hope to find more, but they're very hard. I've been, I've been digging around. I, I can't find a male for her. I wish, I wish I got a male when I bought her. I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't think anything of it, you know. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're great snakes, and I don't see a lot of people keeping them. I don't see any care guides really for them. Um, not too many. Like I said, a lot of people tell you just to keep these without heat. I like to give the option for heat, because why not? You know, if it's going to use it, it'll use it. But they're cool little snakes. They only get about three feet, I think. Um... Last time I checked, I don't exactly remember off the top of my head, but I think they get like three feet. Um, they're not they're not very big. They stay pretty small. And again, they're they're docile. They'll never bite you. I've never heard of them biting people. So, and again, they're pink, like gum when they're born, like um, like picture will show. But um, yeah, they're uh, they kind of like brown out and get like green too as they get older, depending on what lo location they're from, like what with a locality but um yeah they're, they're great pets i love them and I, if you can find one get one they're really cool they're super docile they're fun they're unique you won't see any like it's a boa from the united states i mean it's super duper cool um yeah it's uh it's a trip you know like you don't see too many of those things mossy frog head this is the zoom ed rapid ship stuff i use it's cheap not exactly the most fun, but, you know, it's cool. Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, if you can find one, get one, they're awesome. I'm going to try to find a male and um, maybe get babies one day. But if, I mean, if not, whatever, it's a cool pet. Like, I bought it for a pet. I buy everything for a pet for the most part. And breeding is just, you know, something if I ever want to do it. But yeah, um, these are rubber bows. Um, if you guys keep rubber bows, I would love to hear your comments below and what you think. And, um, you know... They're super cool. Uh, or if you want to get one, you know, leave a comment below. Or if you have any questions, um, let me know. So uh, yeah, that's rubber bows in a nutshell. Super easy. You know, there's not not much to them. They're, they're pretty good snakes. They're fun. So I can't, couldn't recommend them more. So uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and uh, hope you like the video.